Okay guys, it is just now about 4.20. Actually, it is 4.20 p.m. on the dot. Uh, I just left my buddy's place where I keep my kayak. Uh, as you can see, we got the kayak. Uh, this is gonna be the most ridiculous adventure I've ever been on. Uh, I'm driving by myself down to Florida to go fishing for a week. And I'm gonna do it as cheaply as possible. Uh, it's a very tightly budgeted trip. Um, I plan on sleeping in the trunk back there. Uh, I've got an inflatable sleeping pad. I've got blankets. I've got pillows. I've slept in the trunk before. It's not that bad. Uh, I've slept right here before, and this is like the worst. I cannot sleep here. That's not an option. Um, I would camp, but camping, I mean, just to pay for a campsite, 10 bucks a night, that would be really cheap, but I mean, this is cheaper, and uh, that's how cheap we're trying to go. 19 and a half hours from now, I will be arriving at my destination of, uh, this actually is taking me to Bud and Mary's in the Florida Keys, and that's kind of where I intend to spend most of my time here in uh, Florida. I'm going to go straight to South Florida and just do a lot of saltwater fishing, maybe some freshwater fishing, mostly saltwater. I don't know, dude. I'm really excited. This is going to be ridiculous, and I'm going to keep you guys right here with me the whole time. Twenty-three nineteen on this one. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, so twenty-three nineteen. We're in St. Paul's, North Carolina, uh, about twenty-five miles from South Carolina. Uh, just checked the map. We're about eight hours from the first spot. Gonna keep going. Let's keep going. All right, so I drove down to about southern South Carolina last night. That's as far as I made it. At about 4 a.m., I decided I needed to sleep. So I pulled over and slept. And now I'm back at it, back on the road. It's about 11.30. And uh, yeah, I'm coming up on Georgia here. Uh, probably only a few hours from Florida. We're getting there. It's 11.30, 56 degrees, sun's shining. It's looking good. We're looking good. I'm feeling optimistic. All right, we got off the highway a little early here. Change of plans. It's blowing 20 miles an hour outside, maybe 25 miles an hour outside. And this is where I am. I can only imagine what it's like at the shore. So I'm going to try to capitalize on the last two hours of daylight here by fishing some fresh water. We're not quite to the promised land of South Florida, Miami, peacocks, bullseye snakeheads. Yeah, I figure if I'm to go over to uh, the ocean, like Sebastian Inlet or Ponce Inlet, you know, one of these places that uh, it won't be fishable. And I'm not really trying to go just get the wind blown out of me. 63, 73, 74, 75, 76, $77 is what I've spent on gas so far. I've gotten to Fox Lake from Philadelphia on $77 worth of gas. And tell me that this is stupid. This is not stupid. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Look at this. Look at those things. Those are some fancy herons right there. Red-headed herons. Uh, so I'm not really sure if I should be concerned right now. I was walking towards these birds. Oh, this one does... He's missing a foot. This one's missing a foot. He comes right up to me. Like, almost looked like he was going to attack me. But yeah. I mean, these birds are pretty, they're both missing feet. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. All right, first thing I'm doing, got a trout magnet, micro rod. I'm just trying to see what we're working with here. I did not come to Florida just to fish for, you know, small fish like this. But I am trying to get a lay of the land here. See what's what. Start at the bottom, you know, you gotta start at the bottom, really. Get a feel for uh, everything, you know. 
Look, if I don't get bit on this trout magnet, I won't bother throwing for bass or predator fish. Because I, I don't even know if, like, what, if there's fish in here. Well, there's a fish. There's a bass. Look at that bass. In the Schuylkill River, I would say that's a smallie because he's so black. Tiny, but he actually fought pretty good for his size. Now I gotta throw a bigger lure. I caught a tiny bass on the trout magnet. So I'm coming back out with the big guns. I'm gonna throw a smack at Junior. The water feels like it's well above 60 degrees. I don't see any reason not to throw a smack at. I guarantee these bass have never seen a smack it before. Gonna make a move, try to find a better spot. All right guys, it's Friday morning, about 2 a.m. I'm um, calling it a night here at the old pilot truck stop. Um, in Miami now, there's these canals that I came here to fish. It's gonna be windy tomorrow, and I don't wanna be saltwater fishing in the wind. Figure that'd be a good day to try the canals. There's peacocks in there, snakeheads, tilapia, chicklids, a whole bunch of other fish including snook and tarpon and gar. I saw, I just, I was over there and I was trying to catch these fish. I saw them, I saw gar, I saw snook and I saw tilapia. And then there's peacocks and who knows what else. Looked like a lot of fish in there. Hopefully tomorrow's the day. Hopefully we get on some fish tomorrow. Today was just like getting down here. Just to get from the Florida state line down to Miami, took an extra eight hours, something like that. It's a long drive, but we made it. And now it begins. Now it begins. All right, so my first real day of fishing here. Fishing this canal. Uh, it's gonna be windy today, very windy. And uh, fishing the ocean is probably a bad idea. It's gonna be this windy. I'd rather fish some protected areas. Figure this is the right day to come to the canal. This is one of the many thousands of miles of canal, or hundreds of miles of canal, I'm not really sure, but there's a ton of canals down here. And I'm targeting snook, peacock bass, largemouth, tarpon, um, mainly snook. I was actually here last night checking out the spot and I came across some snook. Damn, it's windy already. So we're gonna get a taste of the Miami Canal system today. Let's see what happens. Got one. Two, three, four, five, five iguanas. There's a fish. Hey, what is this? Fighter fish. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Some weird fish that I don't know what it is. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't know what species of fish this is. I'll find that out though. First fish got the skunk off. New species. Things are looking up. I thought it was a little peacock when I when I first saw it. it looked like a a peacock. What's going on? What's this? Oh, okay. Airboat ride, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, I thought this was your business or something. You were giving me a business card. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm from Philadelphia. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Good luck. This right here, authentic Spanish cuisine. You got some onions in here, green peppers, black beans, and rice, and some steak. The steak is, is really good. It's really tender. I would say this is easily the best gas station food I've ever had. All right, got some food. Sat in traffic for a while. Feeling refreshed, rejuvenated. So I'm launching on a different canal. This one is also flowing. And yeah, I'm just gonna hope that there's more action to be had in this canal than the last canal. So we shall see. For now, I just have to get into this kayak. Getting wet. I don't want to get wet. All right. So, all right. We good. Very good. Very good. The rudder is always getting stuck. Always getting stuck. Small price to pay, but always annoying. All right. Now we're good. I'm gonna catch at least one new species of fish here. I'm gonna start under this bridge. No big deal. No big deal. I'm just wearing sweatpants and have a bunch of electronics on me. All good. Not only that, but now it's like how could you ever possibly expect to catch a fish now that it's all churned up. Jet skis coming through here. Freshwater fish, saltwater fish. Oh, there's a fish. Look at this. That's a good one, too. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah, peacock. Oh, nice peacock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Not only that. Okay, but that. Yeah. We got iguanas and we got peacocks. You know we're in Florida now. You know we're in Florida. Dude, that's an awesome fish right there. Awesome fish. Oh, I want to get a picture of them for the non-believers. Oh, well, no picture. All right, that is a huge come up right there. That fish fought so good too, right in this slack water. First peacock. I got the blood to prove it. All right, that was awesome. That fish fought way harder than any largemouth I've ever caught. Slurped that weightless fluke. And you see the size hook I'm using here? This is a size six hook, tiny hook. And I went with the tiny hook because uh, it seems like the smaller the hook, the better the fluke swims, more naturally it swims. I'm also using this loop knot. The loop knot allows freedom, the hook to move freely, you know, that's no, 
It's it's the best best way to fish a weightless fluke in my opinion. Small hook, nose hooked, and let's see if we can't get another. Nice bass. Damn it. That was about a two and a half, three pound largemouth. First largemouth I've seen back here. He was in that current on the smack it and I lost him. Bummer. What the hell? Something crazy, crazy back there. Crazy back there, unbelievable. It's like a big, 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 big swirl coming up over there. It's like either a gator or, oh my God, oh my God. There it is. It is a gator. That gator just swam under my boat, under my kayak. And there's like another one back there. Dude, I'm getting out of here. Gators? Are gators, are gators cool? Fuck. Fuck. All right, so that was actually the first time I've ever seen an alligator and it swam under my kayak so I was a little freaked out I didn't know if they were aggressive towards people or not and it turns out they're not aggressive towards people and in fact there's uh, few if any reports of alligators ever attacking people so um, I didn't know this at the time but now I know so in case you were wondering if you're in a kayak and gators are around it's probably not a big deal Son, I pedaled so hard. I was trying to get like half a mile up this canal before dusk, but then it started raining and then the jet skis came. Once the jet skis came, that was it. I was done. It did a good job of nearly flipping me. Not a bad day. I caught two new species. One of which I still don't know what it is, some kind of like Guadalupe, Guadalupe chiclet or something. Mega mouth. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going back to the car. Gonna get out of this kayak. Maybe try fishing somewhere else tonight. We will see. Till then, I'll see you guys later.